Hi guys, it's Mel. It's been about a month, I guess, since I did a video. Sorry, it's been so long. I have been doing a lot of crafting, but not posting um, a lot of videos. I've been doing a lot of posting to my blog, um, which is melscraftyspace.wordpress.com. Uh, I think that's my blog. I switched my blog from blogger to uh, WordPress. And it is melscraftyspace.wordpress.com. Anyways, I just wanted to get on here. Uh, it's Easter weekend, and yesterday was Good Friday. We did uh, absolutely nothing. Uh, funny story, we... We lock our cats out of our bedroom at night. Um, they like to, they think from 3.30 to 5 a.m. is the time for us to get up and give them some attention. So when hubby's working shift work, which is 12-hour shifts, he, um, some mornings he has to get up at 5.30. So we lock the cats out. So Thursday night we thought, well, neither of us have to get up Friday morning. We will uh, let the cats come in. Well... <laughs> Between nightmares that I had, like waking up screaming, and the cats, I probably, between the two of us actually, we probably only got about six hours sleep. So, needless to say, um, the cats won't be sleeping with us anytime soon. So, yesterday, between doing housework and laundry and stuff, I was just sitting in my craft room, really kind of tired, and took a look at my scrap bin. And about a month ago, I did a big purge in my room. And I threw out a ton of... No, I got rid of a ton of stuff that uh, I'm selling in a, a crafty yard sale here this month, or in April, at one of our... at our local scrap store. And I really cut down my scrap bin because it was getting out of control and so I took another look at it yesterday and realized that it has gotten again out of control because I uh, was making a ton of Easter cards and stuff like that so what I did is I spent the day sorting through purging it was hard but I got rid of a lot of paper little pieces you know that you might keep and stuff like that anyways um, what I did was some of the paper that I had left that were too pretty to throw out or to recycle, um, but really not big enough for a full card, I made a bunch of scrap cards. So that's what these are here, really simple cards. So this is my first one. Um, everything is scrap, including the card bases. This is stuff I had in my bin um, that I had cut but never used. So this stamp here, Celebrate, is from an old Stampin' Up! set, set from 2002 that someone gave me. So I stamped that in VersaFine, made, um, I bought a, a couple of scallop circle punches, so I punched out a bunch of the scrap paper. I had scrap tool and ribbon and lace in a, I keep a, keep a jar of scraps that I haven't used and that are not really that big. So I made a little tool leaf sort of thing. And then I just cut the scraps down, might have mounted them on black cardstock that was in the scrap bin, and then I finished all the insides as well. So there's that one. This one here, the happy birthday is a bow bunny set. Um, added a bling and a bling, another flower. This was a bow that I actually had tied in that jar. Um, some more of that ribbon, uh, that trim some paper. This one here. This is one of my favorite sets from My Mind's Eye that has been discontinued and I hardly ever use it. So I stamped it on the pattern paper. Stamped the dress form. I actually heat embossed it with clear embossing powder. I made another flower with some tool, some ribbon, um, some lace. Punched this out and did the same thing. Did that inside. This one here, I'm not too sure what I think of it, but this was a scrap left over from Valentine's Day. Flower, a little stick pin, a tag that I had in my scrap bin. I added some bling 
some more of that trim. Um, one of the bows that I had tied with some tulle. Put that inside. This one here. I actually had these three pieces cut with the pennants, so I just cut them narrower so they would fit the card. Another flower, another bow that I had, some lace, that same stamp. Oh, and that's the same stamp on this one as well. And did that inside. This here. is one of my favorite sentiment stamps. It is from Hampton Art. It's a Katie Hall, Colette Hall uh, sentiment. Just love it. Wishing you all things fabulous. So I did that one. I ran these three through uh, an embossing folder. This was scrap blue trim that I had, so I just turned that into the flower leaves, added a bling. Same thing as this one. I loved that paper. It broke my heart. That's the end of it. I don't have any more. <clears throat> and finally this one. Let's the same thing. Scrap paper, made a flower. Boss those and that inside. Anyways, that's it. I just wanted to show you those. I hope everybody has a great Easter and we'll talk to you soon.